Today we decided to make video about Computer Tomography Center. We want our patients to get acquainted with this method. I think you have already heard about it. Nevertheless, there is a lot more information to provide. Dear all, Computer tomography as a method exists more than 30 years. Previously, a radiologic assessment was known, but new area in medicine began when computer tomography was implemented. Especially, it helps in oncology. Diagnostic methods improved greatly and became more precise, effective and safe. Today, we will explain in this video what is computer tomography assessment, how it works in order for you to know this method better. Few words about computer tomography center history. This center was opened in our hospital only in 2007. That year, we increased our activities in international clinical trials. But we faced one problem. Our hospital needed to be equipped with up-to-date facilities. Government funding was not enough to do that and, of course, to buy computer tomography scanner. It was a problem to treat patients without this equipment. We decided to establish private company RDP Ukraine, research and development promotion of international clinical trials. The company was established, I am the president of this company. The main target of the company is to provide hospital with modern and up-to-date medical equipment. It is very important to remember that all patients participating in international clinical trials receive computer tomography assessment for free, despite the fact it is very and very expensive. Once again, I want to remember that all this is possible only due to RDP Ukraine company. My assistant will tell you about its official status in a few minutes. Shortly, I want to say that we use computer tomography scanner Philips, made by Philips company in United States. This scanner satisfies all international requirements. We had many audits inspections performed by our foreign companies. We passed these inspections with no deviations. Up to 2007, our patients needed to stay in waiting line in, order, in other hospitals to perform CT assessments and pay money for that assessment. Currently, it lasts two hours from the time the assessment request is made till the assessment is done. The logo we use in this center is request processed on the same day. I think our patients know that and see that. Despite my interview, you can see the operational environment here. Patient is in the scanning room. Anesthesiologist provides safety of the patient during assessment. All other details you will hear soon in our short video. Thank you. Computer Tomography Center, as I mentioned, was opened in 2007. The center is in the basement of the Multifield Clinical Hospital No. 4. There are three rooms. One of it, it is control room, where hospital staff operates the process. The other room is where the tomography scanner is based. The last room is the room for radiologist, a specialist who decodes images of the CT assessment. The center is built considering radiological safety and requirements. We have all necessary certificates from regulatory agencies. All walls covered with barium plaster from the inside, which is an obligatory requirement, because during CD assessment positron emission is present as evidenced by this sign.
идет определенное радиационное излучение, и вот здесь написано о том, что это есть, но все But all rooms, personnel and patients are safe and protected. During the construction of this center, we consider all required norms and standards required for such constructions. Shortly, my assistant shows you all authorization documents necessary to work legally, officially, and thus we can concentrate on patients' interests and provide them highly effective diagnostic. RDP Ukraine company works legal and we have all authorizations documents issued by governmental agencies. Few words about them. Here you can see their certificate of official registration, premises rental contract between the company and hospital, license issued to RDP Ukraine company to conduct radiological assessment. License is issued by Ministry of Health. License issued by Central Department of Nuclear Security. This license states that all equipment satisfies nuclear security requirements. Another document is the decision of Sanitary and Epidemiological Service, Certificate of Hygiene, and thus Accreditation Certificate. This certificate is also issued by the Ministry of Health and justification documents issued to our specialists, radiologists of higher category. You can see the operational room of the computer tomography center. Through the window you can see examination room. Right now you can see preparation process before scanning. Computer tomography consists of both equipment for scanning and equipment for data processing. Few words I want to tell about automatic injection unit. It used when we need to inject contrast required for the assessment. This unit helps not only to automatically inject the contrast drug, but also can show the required amount of contrast drug for the given patient. Contrast drug is injected intravenously through the catheter. We supervise each patient during whole assessment. Patient may feel warmth or even burning. It is normal. It is the expected reaction to iodine. This is the operational unit. It is a central computer where all data received during assessment is collected. From this computer data is automatically transferred to other computers for two computers for data processing and images sending to central laboratories. The 
Also, this data is automatically transferred to radiologists for patients' images analysis and decision-making. Also, I want to say a few words that received data can be viewed as X-ray films or electronically on computer. Data can be recorded on CDs and all received data is stored on hard drives. You can see the great number of CDs, but it is only some part of all CDs we have. As a conclusion, I want to say that all computers are connected to high-speed Internet. Few minutes after the assessment is performed, is needed to send data to radiologist or central laboratory. We indicate the amount of required contrast drug. And then we need to supervise the patient. You can see the equipment for electricity supply, stabilizer units, special cooling units, and 100 meters of cables. Computer tomography scanner is highly technological and complex equipment, required intelligent service by qualified staff. All our staff has great experience of computer tomography assessment conducting. I want to introduce you the operator of computer tomography scanner. Masakova Valentina Nikolaevna, CT engineer. Balakina Svetlana Gennadievna, anesthesiologist Kavalchuk Gennady Yakovlevich, and radiologist Shersnyova Tatiana Gennadievna. Indisputable advantages of computer tomography is that this is non-invasive method of diagnostic. Non-invasive means that no equipment is entered in patient's body. Patient lies on the table and this is enough to perform the assessment. To examine neck, chest, abdominal cavity and pelvis, we need only 30 seconds. We perform scanning of neck, chest. We can see distinctly pulmonary tissue, lung vessels, spinal column, ribs, major vessels, aorta, pulmonary artery. Then we can see abdominal cavity, liver. There will be no undetected zones during CT assessment. Organs do not cover each other. Each scan provides different zones. We can see kidneys, blood vessels, intestinal loops, 
Here we see pelvis, intestines, bones and urinary bladder. Thus 25 seconds required to examine all organs and systems. All images can be combined together and thus organs can be examined together. For example, spinal column that is present at almost each scan. It is also required to see interaction between organs and pathological processes detection. The same can be done at profile plane. Once again we see spinal column, whole aorta and other organs and systems. CT control assessment is performed in order to evaluate pathological process in dynamics. CT control assessment is done to see all changes during treatment, whether they increase or decrease. It is important to perform control assessment on the same scanner. You see two images and they are close to millimeters. Thus it helps to evaluate precisely the size. If lesion is big, you can evaluate it by visual degree. But what to do if the size is very small? Moreover, you can see that formation has irregular edges. The exact size can be defined only if images are done using the same equipment and technique. As the result of treatment, the big sized formation decreased significantly. In contralateral left lung, patient had focal small formation. We can see it on left image. On right image, formation brightness is reduced and size is shortened in few millimeters. Such comparison is easy to do if the assessment is done on the same computer tomography scanner. If lesion is single, surgical procedure can be applied. In such case, a more complicated image is required. Surgeon needs four-dimensional images. You can see on the screen the set of such reconstructions. Lung reconstruction. Liver is distinctly seen on this reconstruction. You can clearly see liver edge on each side. Surgeon also needs to know the interaction between lesion and other organs. For example, root of lung, pleura. It is also clearly seen on this reconstruction. Computer tomography scanner helps to diagnose abnormalities, which are not seen using other diagnostic methods. For example, patient has renal colic. Prior examinations did not provide the reason for this colic. CT assessment presents very complex images, which are comprehensible only to radiologists but is hard to read by other specialists. Four-dimensional images can be used instead. Such reconstruction shows kidney itself, pelvis and renal duct. Renal duct is curved. And thus, that was the reason of renal colic. Using this reconstruction, we can identify where this curve takes place, and you know, the surgeon can perform necessary procedures.
тому, чтобы в будущем хирурги смогли помочь этому пациенту. Given examples helps help to understand that computer tomography is very good method to solve complicated problems. Good afternoon. My name is Mikhenka Yulia Alexandrovna. I will tell you how response evaluation is performed. Evaluation is performed using computer tomography method. It is important as per RESIST to use the same CT scanner and to evaluate images by the same radiologist. When we receive CT assessment conclusion, we evaluate lesions identified by radiologist. Lesions are divided in two categories, target lesions and non-target lesions. Biggest one are target lesions, all other identified by CT is considered as non-target lesions. I show you the table where I indicate the biggest size. In two or three cycles of treatment, patients perform control CT assessment. We put results on the same table and compare them with previously received one. Several variants of response is possible. Frequently occurred response is partial and stable response. Patients may have complete response. It means all previously identified lesions disappeared. Sometimes new lesions may appear, or size of present lesion increases. It is called a progression of disease. When progression is established, change of treatment is required. Such decision is made on oncological meetings. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Skrilnik Olga Alexandrovna. I am one of doctors of chemotherapy department. Today I will tell you what to do patient after CT assessment evaluation. If patient has partial response, patient can continue treatment. Partial response means that applied treatment is effective. If patient has progression response, either present lesion increased or new lesions identified, this response requires change of treatment. In such case, patient history of treatment and patient medical history is presented on oncological meeting in order to select further tactics of treatment. Most likely, patient will continue chemotherapy treatment, but different regimes can be applied. In case patient has complete response, patient data is also presented on oncological meeting. Decision may be as follows. Either to continue this regime of treatment, or treatment vacation is recommended. Treatment vacation means a break in treatment. Dear all, I have listened and watched this video and computer tomography assessment with you and want to make short summary. You have heard information about method of computer tomography. I want to stress that this is one of up-to-date and innovative methods. Likely, we have this equipment and thus we can provide highly effective method of diagnostic. Radiologists described you the possibility of CT assessment. I want to emphasize that this assessment can be applied in terms of international clinical trials. That's why our doctors Yulia Mikhenka and Olga Skrilnik described you in details how response evaluation is done. 
by response I mean how target, non-target lesions and metastasis respond to, apply, to applied treatment. Given video showed how lesions are changed, how size is changed. I want to say that treatment and examination is done by internationally accepted standard, which is called evidence-based medicine. In terms of international clinical trials, received data needed to be proved. Treatment efficacy, response to treatment, result of treatment, is done due to data comparison. Due to percentage, percentage change of lesion size during treatment, whether it, it increased or decreased. We can give the result of treatment with an accuracy to 1%. Thus, evidence-based medicine is absolutely real. We can tell each patient how his or her disease changed during international clinical trials. Consequently, today we increase the understanding and comprehension of treatment efficacy. If ability to evaluate correctly treatment response is increased, then we need to increase technological characteristics of applied diagnostic methods. All this helps to treat patients more effective, qualitative, helps to diagnose disease change in time and make medical decisions on timely manner. Based on international clinical trials experience, we can state that such approach provides effective treatment and well-being of our patients. I believe that applying treatment with such methods gives hope that patients' disease will be cured, patients will live long and happy life, and we will have mutual understanding. Thank you very much.